Hey, what's up? You got time for a beer? I do. It's the best I felt in a while, so I decided to grab something from my cellar. Um, this beer is Short Sickle by Shorts Brewing. Um, uh, it is a tart ale with strawberry, pineapple, and lactose. It says, elevate, don't imitate. Uh, brewed and bottled by Shorts Brewing Company, Elk Rapids, Michigan. It's up over near, uh, well, let's see, where would that be? Like up over, kind of in here, near Traverse City, uh, near McBain. Uh, if anybody's a big Central fan, uh, you should know where McBain is, because... Like, one of the big guys came out of there that Central had. Uh, not Rockford. It's different. Uh, Dan Bazine, not Eric Fisher. Um, I've had this one for a while. It is weird, because this says established 2015. I'm pretty sure that I haven't had this since 2015. Yeah, haven't had this since 2015. It says 2020, so it's been a bit, but... If I remember right, this one's pretty good. Uh, it's sour. Kind of light, if I remember correctly. I mean, it's been a while, and mostly I just drink it out of the bottle. So, um, we'll see what that looks like. Figured I should probably have something on my glass from the Michigan area if I'm drinking a Michigan beer. I was looking for my one that says Michigan right on it, but it doesn't really. Th this one doesn't. This one's just one from, uh, it's got uh, a uh, map of Comerica Park on it. So, fairly light. Um, trying to remember if it said, I don't think that it's got an, an, an ABV on here. Uh, it looks like a no on that. Um, it's pretty good. If I remember right, it's feels pretty light when you're drinking it, but I mean, like with most sours, they're, they generally are a little bit more heavy so far as alcohol goes. So there's that. There's, they do a lot of like fruited IPAs nowadays. This is not one of those. Um, this is way better than that. I like this one a lot, if I remember correctly. Also, if I remember correctly, I mean, it says strawberry, pineapple, lactose, if I remember right, there's a banana flavor in this. Like green bananas, not like overripe bananas. <sighs> yeah. And I think it comes from a mix of the, the fermented strawberries that are in there. Which are fine, but fermented strawberries, not my favorite flavor. I was really hoping that she wouldn't come out. Hopefully you guys can't hear her. I'll bet you can totally hear the cat though. Um, petted her nice and good before she, before I came down here to do this. And yet still, she's all loud and stuff. Um, yeah, so it's, it's sour, which that's what I was hoping for, which is nice. Not bitter. Unless you count that banana flavor as bitter, which you might. But it's not like a like a hop bitter. It's like a green banana bitter. So it's different bitter, I guess. Um, what beer does this remind me of? Um, it actually reminds me of a whole big bunch from from Jolly Pumpkin, because you know you go there and you're like, oh, let's try this new beer, and you're like, oh my god, sours are amazing. Everybody should be be making these. So you look into how to make a sour beer and come to find out it's really tough to get the yeast right, to have it just be a sour and not like a fruited sour, which is why people don't make them because they're very difficult and, and you don't want them around regular beer because they'll make your regular beer funky, which is fine if you're Belgian, but not fine if you want beer that tastes good. I mean, I keep trying Belgian beers because I should like them. I should. They all look so good and look like they should be good. And there are hundreds of thousands of people that say that they're good. And I'm just like, eh, the yeast tastes funny. Because, well, Belgian yeast tastes funny. I don't know what to tell you. 
Um, uh, so Jolly Pumpkin. I've, I've really only been to a Jolly Pumpkin. I like I've had a bunch of di different, different Jolly Pumpkin beers. Uh, they sell them at, at the store. So there's that. But also, when my little brother turned 30, I know, my little brother, right? I, there's no way I'm more than, that I'm less than 30. No, no, no way that I'm less than 30. Um, but obviously I'm older than 30. Maybe he's two years younger than me. Maybe it's just one. Who knows? Actually, probably most of you people watching know already. But I'm not the youngest one. I'm actually the oldest one, so there's that. Uh, so when he turned 30, we went down and uh, did a bar crawl in and around Royal Oak because we have friends that have a lot to do with bars in and around Royal Oak. Or we had, and I think we still have because I'm pretty sure that Ashley's still doing stuff with Valentine Vodka, um, which is very cool. Um, and she's got, she's probably the coolest girl with the coolest husband ever. Yep, Probably. Although I know a lot of dudes like that. Coolest dude with the coolest girlfriend, wife, fiance ever. A lot of those guys. Which is awesome. I just, you know, I'm just a cool guy that doesn't have one of those. So, yeah, it's great. I love being me. Actually, I like being me a lot more recently. Tonight was the first night in quite a while that I wasn't, com well, that my vertigo wasn't necessarily completely evident to me when I got done with a day off. So that's pretty cool. It's just been like, you know, a super hella hangover for weeks. Oh, burps. They're delicious, especially when you're drinking a sour beer because they're sour. They taste like fruit. It's delicious. So beer, beer crawl, um, his birthday is in December. So obviously it was super warm and it's before Christmas. So we were down there around Christmas time and it was like a weekend kind of thing. Um, and it ended up being a whole weekend kind of thing. Cause it's my brother and his friends and my friends. And, um, they used to do a, uh, a liquor exchange right around that same time. So we kind of had that bleed into the liquor exchange, which was awesome. Um, it was a, it was a very cool weekend. I think that was the last one I went to. There, I might have been to one other besides that, but I don't think so. Those are always a lot of fun. Get some really nice alcohol. That's before I decided that I'm not drinking hard alcohol anymore. Because I don't like who I am when I drink hard liquor. Beer is, beer is good. I love the way beer tastes. I really like the way whiskey tastes, but... I'm I'm a dick when I drink whiskey, so I don't drink it. I'm kind of a dick when I drink just about any hard liquor. I don't like when I drink that, so I don't. And recently I haven't been drinking a whole lot of beer because I'm dizzy anyway, so why why make it more? Or I'm just teetering on the edge of dizzy. Not quite dizzy, but with just a little bit of a push, I could be there. Or, you know, a quick turn of my head. I could be dizzy, but it's not a thing right now, so that's awesome. Uh, what else does this... This also reminds me of, of disc golfing in my backyard because I used to drink a bunch of these when I was disc golfing in my backyard. Um... A nice cold sour on a nice warm day. It's amazing. One of my favorite things to do, or before I got vertigo. Now the problem is if I turn too fast, it sets the world spinning. So I'm trying to not do that, which means a run-up is practically impossible for me because I turn my entire body when I throw. Which, I mean, I dislike not playing disc golf in my yard because I have a big, beautiful yard and 
that's what I did with it. There, there's a three-hole disc golf course on my yard. Or, I mean, I've got three baskets in my yard, so I can play nine holes real easy and not have to really repeat a hole. I like it, but I can't do it right now. Might end up just, if I ever get a chance to, I might end up just going out and, and tossing without, well, I just set my feet and throw. The lower I get in this, the more I notice the lactose. It's a little bit cloudy, just a little bit. And it's sweet, for sure sweet. Which you get with a lacto with lactose in beer because yeast doesn't ferment lactose. But it ferments strawberries, and I think that's probably what I'm getting that I'm thinking make it makes it taste like green bananas. It's a fermented strawberry. Which is fine. It it also makes it sour, and I like that. Getting close to the end of this guy. All right, so don't forget, you can find me on Untapped, 2 with Jake underscore 69. YouTube, 2 with Jake underscore 69. Hopefully that's where you're watching this right now. Twitter, 2 with Jake underscore 69. And Instagram, 2 with Jake underscore 69. Um, like this, follow me. Uh, watch the videos. I really like it when you watch the videos. Watch it two or three times. That's cool. I like that too. It's nice when I see like 25 views. That's awesome. That's a big day for me on one of my videos. But even one view, I like that too. Better than zero. So anyway, I got a quote for you. Uh, this one comes from Arnold Palmer, the, uh, the golf guy, not the iced tea guy. Although they are the same guy. Um, Arnold Palmer says, Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. Um, I don't know. I think I've been hungry a couple of times. And I've always found it really hard to concentrate when I've been that hungry. And usually when I've been that hungry, I've been making food. So, um, yeah. Confidence and hunger. I think he's talking about something else, though. Like, when you really want it, you go out after it, and you know that it's going to succeed. You're going to succeed because there's no other way around it. You have to want it, need it, need it. Like, it gives you, it gives you your sustenance. Whatever it is. Probably for him, it was golf. For me, I don't know, maybe just life in general. I really like going places, doing things. I really like beer, which is awesome because I'm doing this and I like this, um, which is why I keep doing it, even though, you know, zero, two, three, one's good, but I mean, 25 is better. So don't forget, Tuba Jake underscore 69. I'll see you next time. You got time for a beer? I've got time for a beer. Um, yeah, let's have a beer. Turn this guy off.